Grids can be very helpful in your game. They are often used in the Tycoon building games, in the level selection screen of your favorite mobile game, and in the inventory screen in many popular titles. In this video, we'll create a simple inventory grid with multiple items and ability to resize it for every screen. Let's go! So this is my sample screen, and you can already see that I have implemented this black box that represents an inventory screen in the game. Let's start by creating a new image that will become our grid area later on. So right click on the parent object and select UI image. First, let's style it a bit. I will resize it to fill almost all available space, like that, and then I will change its source image to a rounded rectangle. You can find more about it in this video. Finally, set a bit darker color and rename the game object to grid. Notice that if I would now try to resize the parent object, our newly created image layout will behave incorrectly. To fix that, click on the anchor presets and select that double stretch option. Now everything works just fine. Before we'll add a grid view component, let's firstly create a grid element. I will right click on the grid object and select UI image. I think it should be a bit smaller for our case, so I will resize it to 62 by 62 and of course rename it to grid element. We have one more thing missing, and that will be some kind of the item in the middle. So right click on our grid element and as always select UI image. I've imported a bunch of inventory items from Kenny and in this case I'll select some kind of bow with the arrow to represent our item. Currently it's a bit too big, so just resize it to suit your needs. Ok, I think our grid element is ready, we can now create a prefab. Prefabs in Unity are the great way to save some objects as a template to use later. I'll just create a new folder called prefabs in the project assets and then simply drag the grid element from the scene hierarchy into the newly created folder. As you can see, the icon immediately became blue, which means that this game object is tied to the prefab. If I would now double click that prefab in the assets and decide to change the background color to light yellow for example, you can see that immediately changes the object on the scene. Great, so I will now simply duplicate this object a few times and move it to a different places. Remember that you can get source files for all Unity UI tutorials by supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description. Okay, I think it's finally time to apply a grid view. Click on our grid game object, then add component and search for grid layout group. After adding it, you can immediately see that all of our elements are now sorted in the grid. But we have a few things to tweak here. So the first notable thing is that the grid view completely screwed up our element size. Fortunately, we can easily fix that by modifying cell size in the grid settings. Remember, we used a 62 by 62 pixels, so type that in and yeah looks much better. The next thing will be aligning everything to the middle. To do that, simply change child alignment from upper left to upper center. You may also notice that it doesn't look good when all of the styles are directly next to each other. I think that adding some spacing like 8 for X and Y will make things much better. Finally, let's add some padding to move elements a bit down. Here in the grid settings, unfold padding options and in this case type 16 in the top input field. And here we have a great looking inventory screen. What's more, it's fully responsive, so if you would like to take that box and resize it, 
you can see how all elements move to fill the entire space possible. So that's it. Thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. Be sure to check out my other videos about PlayFab and Unity UI. See you soon.